Right, so let's talk about how we can detect ARP poisoning attacks. First of all, let me show you the ARP table. So in our Windows device, which is the device that we always attack, I'm going to run a command, ARPA, to list all the entries in the ARP table. So each computer has an ARP table, and that table associates IP addresses with MAC addresses. So we can see the IP address of the router, which is 10.20.14.1, is associated with the MAC address 52.54, and it ends up in 35.00. So this is the MAC address for the IP for the router. So the way that ARP poisoning works, like we discussed before, is it works before because each request is trusted, and clients accept responses even if they didn't send a request. So what the hacker does is he sends a response to the client telling them that they are the router. So the client will accept that, it will trust it, and it's going to accept the response even though it didn't send a request. Then we'll send another response to the router telling them that we are the client. So what this is going to do, it's going to modify the entries in the ARP tables in both in the router and in the client. And for the client, it's going to contain the hacker's MAC address and it's going to associate that with the router's IP address. So what's basically going to happen is it's going to modify the MAC address here and it's going to change that to the attacker's MAC address instead of the router's real MAC address. So when that happens, then the hacker will be in the middle of the connection and they'll be able to read, analyze, and modify the packets because they're going to be flowing through the hacker device. So let's run the ARP poisoning, a normal ARP poisoning attack like we always do it. And when I go back here, I'm going to execute the same command. So I'm going to do an ARP A again. And note how the MAC address is going to be different. So the MAC address for the router, it used to be this one. And when we ran the command, then the MAC address changed to this one. And this MAC address right here is the MAC address of the network card that the attacker is using. So if I come here and just do an if config, you'll see that this is the MAC address, the same, the same MAC address that is displayed in here. So this is the easiest and the simplest way to discover ARP poisoning attacks. It's not the handiest way though, because you're going to have to keep doing this command and keep comparing the entries if you really wanted to check if you're being ARP poisoned. So there's a tool called XARP and it allow, it does that automatically for you and it's available for Linux and Windows. So I already downloaded, you can just Google XARP and you can download it, very easy to download and install. And I'm just going to run it. I'm actually going to stop the attack first. And then I'm going to run the tool. Now notice when you stop the attack, the IP address is going to go back to what it was. So you can see that the MAC address of the router is back to its default write value of the router. So I'm just going to run XARP now. And you can see that everything is good. And you can see that the entries are very similar to what we did when we did uh, ARPA. So we have the IP addresses and the MAC addresses associated with it. What the tool basically does, it's just going to automatically monitor this. And whenever something changes, it's going to know that something's wrong is happening because each IP address should have a unique MAC address. There should be no duplicates in the network. So I'm going to do another ARP poisoning attack exactly like we did it before. And when we come here, you'll see that XARP is giving us a notification and telling us that something's happening. It's telling us that the MAC address for the router, which is the 10.20.14.1 IP, has changed from this to that. And if we look here, I'm going to click OK. And if we look here, we can see that the affected machines are the router, my own machine right now, and the attacker. Sorry, that's that's me and that's the attacker. So basically we know that the machine at 10.20.14.203 is trying to do an ARP poisoning attack because it's the one that the, the router's MAC address has changed to. Therefore, we know this is the attacker machine. 
So this tool is really handy because it does the monitoring automatically for us and it will tell us whenever someone is trying to ARP poison the network.